Hello, welcome to my first installment of question and answer time. Um, Blue Light has asked me about tails. She said she's made her first afghan with squares using worsted weight yarn and most all of the tails fray at the end and poke out. She tried um, fabric glue and um, they still poke out. Very frustrated. How do I make them stay tucked? Well, I showed you my method of drawing in the tails at the end of my Granny Ripple series. And there's also a Granny Square tutorial on taking care of the tails. Some yarns, the tails do slip out, especially the soft yarns. So it is not an easy thing to take care of. And there are several methods to do that. And I'll go over each one at a time. So I'm going to turn my camera off, turn it around, and, and do a couple demonstrations of how to do it. So I'll be right back. Don't blink your eye too fast. Well, welcome back. You all saw how I took care of the tails for a Granny Square. Um, this is These are left over from a previous video series I did on reading graphs. So um, I just decided to pull these out of my stash box and use these to demonstrate on how to take care of some tails. The question was, well, the, the viewer is frustrated because their, their tails keep popping out. And the best way to keep them from popping out is pay attention to the way your fabric stretches, okay? Your fabric stretches in different ways, see that? And if you make your thread go against that stretch, whenever somebody picks it up or moves it around, your tails will pop out. So always move your thread through your stitches in a way that it mimics the stitch. So if you're going along this top edge here, you mimic the stitch by that edge on there, the, the side of the V, it kind of twists around, so I'm mimicking the stitch. Okay, and now don't do that all the way across because this will eventually not stretch, so then you have to go down through another stitch. I like to go down through two rows. You know, it it's not how do I word it? Everybody does their draws their tails indifferently. But if you put your your tail through the middle of the stitch at the thickest part and then clip it not real close to the fabric, just so it sticks out just a little bit and then you pull it the way it stretches. See how it pops through? Okay, now this tail popped out down here. So, you know, sometimes that's going to happen, but it always can be drawn back through. And there we go. Now, now that it's drawn through, you can see that little tiny bit of a tail. You can put a dab of fabric glue there after it's been put through and then don't stretch it again until it's dry. Okay, sometimes your tails are just going to pop back out um, and I really wish there was a real solution for it. Another way I've seen people do it, they'll split the plies of their yarn if you hold it up, I'm not going to move my camera because it's in focus here. But you just split your plies of yarn on your tail. Kind of untwist it. And then you take a smaller needle. This one here is like just a little bit smaller needle. And then you sew now 
if you're going to do it this way, make sure you're never going to need to tear this thing out because it's going to be harder to find it to tear it out. Okay, so and then you do the same thing, but you can split the yarn as well to to hide your your tail. And you'll go one direction with one of the splits. And another direction with the other split. And this way, this one here, you just weave it through like that, and then you cut cut it close to the work. And you do that with the other end and go in a different direction. So this time, since I went up through the stitch the last time, I'm going to go across the bottom chain this time. And if your ant tails just keep popping out and keep it popping out, this is probably the most secure solution to taking care of the tails. And it's just kind of sewing it in and then what you want to do is then go backwards against the way you just drew your tail through and that will secure it okay I got my tail out of my eye of my needle so I gotta put it back through okay and so that's another way to, to draw in the tails. It's well hidden and um, unworsting it and drawing your tails in, I think will probably be your best solution if your tails keep popping out. So I hope this answers your question and I will see you in the next video. And go ahead and ask some more questions. I'm happy to help. Thanks, bye.